Hello YouTube, second flock here. Now recently in Yu-Gi-Oh, nothing has been going on at all. I mean, they came out with the structure deck like a couple months ago. I was pretty late getting it, I guess. I don't know how long it came out even. But ever since uh, Konami took over Upper Deck Entertainment uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh and canceled all the Shonen Jumps and organized play, there's no real thing going on for Yu-Gi-Oh right now. There's no big tournaments or anything. So really, it's just people are selling their cards left and right. It's just casual players going around playing sometimes. I don't know. So, without further ado, I'm going to open this uh, structure deck, the new Spellcaster's Command. I'm a little late getting it to you guys, but whatever. Uh, now, I noticed on the covering, it now says Konami, unlike how the uh, zombie deck that came out like I don't uh, like half a year ago. Uh, didn't have this Konami seal around it when they had the seal. It didn't say Konami all around it. Maybe Konami wants us to know that now they're in charge. We really don't care because they're not doing anything for this game anymore. Just releasing sets that have already been released in Japan. I guess. Really, the Shonen Jump magazines don't really have much about Yu-Gi-Oh! to talk about anymore. Uh, just pulling whatever together they, they can. So... Yu-Gi-Oh! is more than likely going down the tubes. It's alright. We've got this cool playmat uh, with the main character on it, I guess. The how to use this deck. Uh, I have a rule book. Great. It's not like I already have 20 of those already. I do. And then the deck. Let's open it. <coughs> alright. Let's start off with Endymion the Master Magician, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 star spellcaster, because of course every super spellcaster has to be 7 stars because of Dark Magician. Uh, 2700 attack, 1700 defense. You can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by removing 6 spell counters from a magical citadel of Enyamon you control. When you do add a spell card from your graveyard to your hand once per turn, you can discard one spell card and destroy one face up card one destroy one card of the field. Well that's pretty beast. I mean you've gotta get this six spell counters on this other card, but that that seems feasible. Uh yeah. Alright, next card. Disenchanter, once per turn you can remove the spell counter from anywhere on the field. To return this face up to return one face up spell card to its owner's hand. It's got over four stars and only two thousand attack. I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna lie now. Defender, the magical knight. Uh, when this card is normal summoner, place a spell counter on it, max one. Once return of face up the spell counter monster is on the field would be destroyed, you can remove the spell counter from this card you control for each of those monsters instead. So it's like a shield wait Oh, okay, so it's like a super shield. You can remove spell counters instead of having your spell casters destroyed. That's good. Hannibal Necromancer. Uh, basically, it's a mystical space typhoon. But it's a monster. Uh, Summoner Monk. This thing lets you summon cards from your deck. Dark Red Enchanter. One, two, three, four, five, six stars. When this card is normal summon, place two spell counters on it. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on it. It gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove two spell counters from this card to make your opponent discard one card at random from their hand. That's pretty good. And it's got 2200 defense. Skilled Dark, Dark Magician, just there for spell counters. Apprentice Magician, Apprentice. Old Vindictive Magician, it's like the man eater bug for spell casters. Magical Marionette, basically every time a spell card is activated, uh, it gets a spell counter or something, gains 200 for each one. You can remove two spell counters to destroy one monster on the field. Breaker. Magical Plant, Mandanagar, I, I, I hate all these names. Uh, basically, it's effect to put a spell counter on any card, and instead of being plant, like it looks like it's a spellcaster. Royal Magical Library for draw power. Glass Magician. Mystical Beast Cerberus, which were all in the previous spellcaster deck, so I'm not going over it. Miku, Master of Barriers. You can tribute this card to destroy one phase of continuous spell or trap card on the field. No, I'm not going to use that. Crystal Seer. Uh, pick two cards up from the top of your deck, select one of those cards, add it to your hand, place the other... Wait, what? 
Okay, this is pretty beast. It's like add. It's like flip effect draw. Uh, magical and Alex and Parter. Each time a spell card is activated, place two spell counters on this card. Once per turn, you can remove any amount of spell casters. Two. Okay, basically you can uh, remove spell counters from a card in order to special summon from your graveyard equal to the amount of things. I don't know. I'm running out of time here. Let's see. This uh, this is a the field spell. Each time a spell is activated, place a spell on the counter on this card. Okay. When a card with spell counters is destroyed, place its spell counters on this card. Once we're of the spell, we get all your. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, basically, it's like the main field of the deck. You just gotta go get it because I'm running out of time. Place this. All right. I'm just gonna go to something cool. Mist Body. Oh, this is cool. It basically makes it so that one of your monsters is invincible from battle. Malevolent Nuzzler. Giant Trunade. Fissure. Swords. Ooh, Mage Power. That's not limited. I've got two of them that I can use. Terraforming to search for it. Enemy Controller. Book of Moon. Magical Blast. Magical Dimension. Twister. Field Barrier. Magician Circle. Okay, activate only when a spellcaster type monster declares an attack. Each player special summons one spellcaster monster from their deck with 2,000 or less. Attack from their deck and face up attack position. Pitch black power stones, which each come into play with three spell, uh, yeah, spell counters. Tower battle and magic cylinder. That's basically the deck. Now, you gotta trust me when I say the field card does look pretty okay. The field card for the deck does look okay. Combine this with just one of the old spellcaster decks and you can make a pretty beast deck. Uh, this is the second block signing off. I'll probably make a cards of the week about some of the cards in this deck.